In the Menus panel, you can see the list of all available menu positions. Once a menu is selected, a button appears to additional settings for the menu position. Here you can select whether the menu should be rendered as a horizontal sub-nav, a sidebar nav, or icon nav. The default type depends on the position where the menu is published. For example, let's select a horizontal sub-nav. If you have chosen a nav or sub-nav, you can show optional dividers between the items. Here you can also set the width and height for menu item images. Mind that the image itself can be selected for each menu item individually. Let's go back to the Menus panel and click on a menu to see the list of all menu items. Now simply click on a menu item to open a panel with further options. Here let's add an image for our menu item. Now let's go back to the position options. And now we can set the width and height for the menu item images. If you set only one value, the original proportions will be preserved. The image will be resized and cropped automatically and where possible high resolution images will be auto generated. If you have selected an SVG image, as in my case, you can inject it into the page markup so it can be further styled with CSS. If instead of the image, your menu item has an icon, you can set the icon width. Also, you can add or remove an additional margin between the title and image. And finally, align the image to the top or center of the menu item. The top alignment usually is used if the menu items have subtitles.